Now the software itself was created with so many variables and so many back doors that can be hooked up to the internet or a thumb drive stuck in it or whatever. But one of its most characteristic features is, is its ability to flip votes. It can set and run an algorithm that probably ran all over the country to take a certain percentage of votes from President Trump and flip them to President Biden, which we might never have uncovered had the votes for President Trump not been so overwhelming in so many of these states that it broke the algorithm that had been plugged into the system. And that's what caused them to have to shut down in the states they shut down in. That's when they came in the back door with all the mail-in mail -in ballots many of which they had actually fabricated. Some were on pristine paper with identically matching uh, perfect circle dots for Mr. Biden. Others were shoved in in batches. They're always put in in a certain number of batches and people would rerun the same batch. This corresponds to our statistical evidence that shows incredible spikes in the vote counts at particular times. And that corresponds to eyewitness testimony of numerous people who have come forward and said they saw the ballots come in the back door at that time. Senators uh, Klobuchar and Warren have raised these concerns as recently as December 2019. Why our government has not taken them seriously is beyond my comprehension, unless they have some of the three letter agencies have used them themselves in other parts of the world. We know that the technology was exported to affect an election in Argentina. That's admitted by our friend who wrote the affidavit about Hugo Chavez and his interest in Smartmatic. There has been widespread use of this. Uh, Dominion itself is utilized in 2000 jurisdictions in 30 states. It has been uncertifiable in multiple states who realized all the problems that it had, including Texas. Experts have described it across the board from a, Prin a Princeton group of three professors to uh, experts that we have talked to about its end user vulnerabilities. People can admittedly go in and change whatever they want. They can set the ratio of votes from one thing to another. They can say that uh, a Biden vote counts as 1.25 and a Trump vote counts as 0.75. And those may be the numbers that were actually used here. It's not just the swing states that were affected. The algorithm was likely run across the country to affect the entire election. Like I said, we only discovered it this year because of the overwhelming number of votes for President Trump in the swing states that caused the machines to have to shut down for them to backfill uh, for adding votes. We have evidence of different numbers of votes being injected into the system, the same identical unique six digit number multiple times in at least two states that we've analyzed so far. And I'm talking about like 341,542 votes for Biden and 100,012 for Trump. Um, there's no explanation, no logical explanation for the same numbers being injected 20 minutes apart into the machine. The software manual itself, you can download it from the internet and I would encourage you all to read it because it specifically advertises some of these things as features of the system. Why it was ever allowed into this country is beyond my comprehension and why nobody has dealt with it is absolutely appalling. We have testimony of different workers admitting that they were trained how to uh, dispose of Trump votes and uh, add to Biden votes. The software has a feature pursuant to which you can drag and drop any number of batches of votes to the candidate of your choice or simply throw them away. So we have uh, mathematical evidence in a number of states of massive quantities of Trump votes being trashed, just simply put in the trash like you would on your computer with any file and uh, Biden votes being injected. That's addition to the flipping. I mean, it really happens in two ways. There's an algorithm that runs that automatically flips all the votes and then each operator has the ability to go in, uh, override settings, they can ignore signature, they can ignore the, the top line of the ballot, they can go down ballot and select who they want to change the results for. Many of the jurisdictions that have had this problem might not have known of the issues, but 
many did. And I think a full-scale criminal investigation needs to be undertaken immediately by the Department of Justice and by every state's equivalent attorney general's office or state investigatory unit because there are there's evidence of different benefits being provided to the people who spent $100 million of taxpayer money at the last minute for their state to get the Dominion voting systems put in in time for this election in different ways. Uh, there's one person that a lawyer told me got, quote, election insurance, um, meaning that he would uh, be able to make sure he was elected. I'm sure they explained that feature in detail to many people who expressed interest in putting this voting system in. There's no doubt it has been used to alter elections in other countries. Um, we know specifically that Venezuela exported it for that purpose to Argentina and other Latin American companies to make sure that the corrupt rulers who were willing to pay the highest price for being in office were allowed to rig their elections. This is stunning, heartbreaking, infuriating, and the most unpatriotic acts I can even imagine for people in this country to have participated in in any way, shape, or form. And I want the American public to know right now that we will not be intimidated. American patriots are fed up with the corruption from the local level to the highest level of our government, and we are going to take this country back we are not going to be intimidated. We are not going to back down. We are going to clean this mess up now. President Trump won by a landslide. We are going to prove it. And we are going to reclaim the United States of America for the people who vote for freedom. This is basically an opening statement so the American people can understand what the networks have been hiding and what they refuse to cover because all of your fake news headlines are dancing around the merits of this case and are trying to delegitimize what we are doing here. Let me be very clear that our objective is to make sure to preserve and protect election integrity. President Trump has been saying from day one that this is about maintaining free and fair elections in this country. It is not about overturning an outcome. It is about making sure that election integrity is preserved and every American should want that. If every American is not on board with that, you have to ask yourself why. And if your fake news network is not covering this or allowing you to cover it fairly and accurately, you should ask yourself why. We are a nation of rules not a nation of rulers. There is not someone that just gets to pick who the next president is outside the will of the American people. And that is our task because when we talk about voter fraud, it's actually election official fraud. That cannot stand. The constitution requires that the state legislatures are the ones that make election law. It still has to go by the US constitution. But what has happened in this case is that state and local level officials and all the way up have changed the rules. We select our president through the electoral college, not because it disenfranchises voters, but because it is a security mechanism for exactly the type of corruption that we are uncovering. And every American should be grateful and thankful that our founders had the foresight to put in those protections and provisions to make sure that your legitimate legal vote is not disenfranchised. That is what we are advocating for. It's about making sure that we protect and preserve free and fair elections for all future American elections. If the United States caves to corruption or this type of election integrity disaster, then no election will be secure from here on out. And we all need to be keenly aware of that. We are the representatives here that are standing in this gap and defending President Trump and defending you, the American people, at the end of the day. This is ultimately about the United States of America. And we want to make sure to protect and defend that. And as my colleagues have said, we will not back down. We won't be intimidated. President Trump will not be intimidated. You, the American people, should not be intimidated. You, the press, should cover this fairly and should know that this matters to election integrity and it matters to the future of our nation. The world is watching this. 
I have gotten multiple emails from people in other countries who watch the same pattern happen there. We have witnessed testimony that the same things were done in those countries as this was exported from Venezuela and by Maduro and by Mr. Chavez and by Cuba. And of course, we know China also has a substantial presence in Venezuela and substantial interest in making sure that President Trump does not continue in office. This is the consummate foreign interference in our election in the most criminal way you can possibly imagine. It must be shut down. We know, for example, that one of the Dominion's highest level employees or officers went to Detroit himself to man the Detroit Operations Center where he could watch the votes coming in real time and decide what file folder in the system <clears throat> to put those votes into. That's why you see massive spikes after hours when people were told that all the votes were in and all the votes were counted. Many Dominion employees have already reached out to us to tell us the truth. They are Americans who want to ensure election integrity like we do. I would encourage every Dominion or Smartmatic employee who is fed up with the corruption in this country to come forward as soon as possible because these are serious federal offenses that I am confident the Department of Justice will be in pursuit of in very short order if they are not already. In terms of the level of corruption we are looking at here, we have no idea how many Republican or Democratic candidates in any state across the country paid to have the system rigged to work for them. These people didn't do this just to take control. They make one heck of a lot of money off of it. Think about the global interests behind your own news organizations. Think about the pressure being brought to bear on, from the social media companies to shut down free speech on any challenge to the election. This is a massive, well-funded, coordinated effort to deprive we the people of the United States of our most fundamental right under the Constitution to preserve this republic that we all cherish. It is of the greatest concern. It is the, it is the 1775 of, of our generation and, and beyond. You can do it yourself. Uh, a lot of the analysis comes from the real-time data that came through to the news medias the, the night and following the election. And some entrepreneurs out there have started crunching data themselves in addition to multiple experts who could easily recognize with the mathematical brain that I do not have uh, the, the beyond ex explicable deviations to the point of mathematical impossibility that 186,000 votes come in at once all for Joe Biden. That's like flipping a coin 186,000 times and it lands on the same, it lands on heads every time. That does not happen. There is no reasonable explanation for the upshoots, the straight lines up. I'm not even talking about a, an angle. I'm talking about some massive straight lines up in the vote tallies in the middle of the night after they've supposedly stopped counting. And that's when the Dominion operators went in and injected votes and changed the whole system. And it affects votes around the country, around the world, and all kinds of massive interests of globalist dictators, corporations, you name it. Everybody's against us except President Trump and we the people of the United <laughs> States of America. <laughs> Is the country on the verge of an electoral breakdown? Uh, we've already had it. We have already had that electoral breakdown. But the Constitution, as Jenna explains, has provisions in it for how you fix this. And there should never be another election conducted in this country. I don't care if it's for local dog catcher using a Dominion machine and Smartmatic software. We've got to have an American company that uses paper ballots that we can all verify so every one of us can see that our vote is our vote. Why are you